What's up internet? Today we're going to talk about the Clark USA gas tank I installed on my 2011 YZ250 and the issues I ran into and what you need to look for if you're going to do the same upgrade. So the first thing I'll talk about is the fitment of the tank. It's not great. I had to kind of use some makeshift spacers. It's really hard to see, but uh, where it mounts to the frame underneath the tank through this hole here, um, it was not easy. It was not easy. So that was kind of a pain in the butt. Now let's talk about the Clark USA gas cap that comes with the tank and this ventilation hose. Because this is really the catalyst for me making this video. Kind of hard to see, but you can kind of tell that this part right here has risen and broken off from the part that you grip with your hand to actually thread the cap on. If I rotate this around, you can kind of see there's a really good shot. See how it's sticking up there on the end? This gas cap has caused me problems, has broken twice in the same manner that the first cap broke. Um, so this is the third gas cap, the second gas cap I've purchased aside from the actual tank itself. So the first time the cap broke on me, I thought, you know what? I still have my old blue OEM gas tank and cap. I'll just remove this cap and put it on my new Clark USA gas tank with the old style vent hose, this is the hose that I've been running. Unfortunately, this cap does not thread onto the Clark USA gas tank. So that was a no-go. So I thought, you know what, fine. The gas caps aren't that expensive. I'll just order a new one, no big deal. And so I did, and so it broke again. So in case you're wondering why motocross bikes, enduro bikes, dirt bikes, off-road bikes in general have these vent tubes sticking out of the cap. Um, in this particular case, an old two-stroke, carbureted two-stroke, there's no fuel pump. Gravity is feeding fuel down through the bottom of the tank, through the petcock into the carburetor. As the fuel level drops, you need to backfill that new open area with air, oxygen. So this vent lets air back into the gas tank as the fuel level drops. If you didn't, if this was completely sealed off, as the fuel level drops, you're gonna create a vacuum and eventually the fuel um, will stop flowing to the carburetor and your bike will stop. This vent hose um, looks really cool, but it is designed to only let air flow into the tank and nothing can come back out. Whereas this hose is just an open hose, there's nothing inside of it, so you can blow air in both directions. I don't know if you can be able to hear that on this video, but I did it anyway. So the way this hose works is it actually just runs right down through the head tube. And if there's any fuel that comes back out through here as the bike is jumping around and moving around and bouncing and all that good stuff, um, it will actually just drop out onto the back side of your front fender, which I have seen many, many, many times before. So here's my theory. I think because this is a one directional hose. I think maybe the tank is building up pressure inside as the fuel is just jostling around. And that's why this guy keeps breaking. That's my theory. I have nothing else. I hope that's the problem. And by migrating to the hose, the open hose that just runs in through your head tube, I'm hoping they'll stop breaking because I'm on my third one and I'm really getting tired of buying these gas caps. And there's absolutely no way I'm putting the OEM blue gas tank on my yellow and black YZ250, that's just not happening. If any of you out there have uh, experienced this same problem, for the love of God, put a comment down below so I know what the hell's wrong and what I'm doing wrong. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. So that's it, man. If you are gonna get yourself a Clark USA gas tank for your YZ or any other dirt bike, enduro bike, off-road bike, that's what I've been experiencing with mine. So hopefully, hopefully that will help you somehow in the future if you do purchase one of these Clark USA gas tanks. All right, guys, keep the upside down and uh, we'll see you in the next one. 